All right, welcome back. So today I've got an RC on the bench, the fire team, and somehow, I don't know why I'm making this video, um, but a lot of people have got me misunderstood when it comes to this RC. And uh, we're going to talk about that right now while I get the wheels put back on because I was robbing the wheels to uh, compare to some my Mojave uh, on the speed run challenge. As you guys know, me and RC Guy Garage going back and forth trying to get 100 miles an hour on uh, off-road. And RC Guy Garage chose the fire team. Um, which happens to be the old body that I have from the unboxing of the fire team. And it was an RC that I wasn't going to purchase. There was a reason I wasn't going to purchase this RC. Because of the price. $750 for this RC. And it's based off a Mojave platform. And you guys know I love the Mojave. And that's why I'm doing the off-road speed runs with a Mojave. Is because I think it's one of the most durable trucks out there. Which in turn makes this actually a durable truck the big deal i had with this rc was when this thing was dropped influencers got this rc and uh of course they got it early and i was all the videos like got dropped within 10 15 minutes of arma announcing this fire team and everybody was talking about how this is the latest and greatest and best RC ever created out there. And I was like, man, you know, it's $750 plus tax. It's an $800 Mojave. And at that time, I remember when I first bought the Mojave, they, they started out at like 550 bucks. And then, you know, inflation kicked in and then they were like 620. Uh, but 650 out the door is where you could you know, list price, get a Mojave or Arma 6S line seemed to be around that price point of 620 bucks. And what I was noticing happening, Horizon was doing this while everybody was getting their stimulus checks and, and everybody had a lot of money out there is that the prices of RC started to creep up like really fast because supply and demand. People were, you know, at home doing the hobby and the hobby was growing like crazy and people were taking advantage of it. I felt influencers were taking advantage of it because there's no way that this RC should have cost $750 plus tax. It's $800 here at like $820 or $830 out the door by the time you bought one of these. And I was like, man, it's not even an 8S line, you know? It, it's a 6S line of the same stuff we've been buying from Arma for the last two years. And, you know, that got under my skin. But after watching all the videos and everybody talking about how great this thing was, I was like, okay, let me buy it. Let me give it a shot. I don't want another Arma that has quality control issues because that's, that's what it seemed like I had been getting for the last two years, two and a half years through Arma is that their quality control really went to crap. And everything I was purchasing, whether it was my outcast leaking shocks or buying something that was broken out of the box or no Loctite on it. First, it was too much Loctite to where we couldn't get the screws out and we were stripping everything. Um, and then it got to the point where we had to heat up everything just to get screws out, like the center differential on the Creighton 8S when it first was dropped had so much Loctite on the center diff that you pretty much had to ruin the center diff to get it apart just to get the fluid changed. Um, to where it came with, you know, certain RCs that the motor mount had so much Loctite on it, we couldn't get the motor mount off the chassis because there was too much Loctite on it. So we brought it up and then it got to the point where, like this one, no Loctite on stuff. And... A lot of people were saying, well, when you buy these ready-to-runs, you have to take them completely apart and check everything before you run it. 
And that's not, for me, that's not what a ready to run is. Um, I, I don't like it. Some kid's going to get this thing on Christmas Day and, or get any RC um, through Arma and have either a diff gear strip out or screws come loose or it break and then, you know, now on Christmas Day, can't get to a hobby store, can't get parts, can't get it fixed. And they don't even know how to fix it, you know. So now you're trying to contact, you know, Horizon Hobbies Warranty, which you can't call. You got to email. So they, they make it very, very tough um, to get anything warrantied. And that's where I try to show whether it's low-C quality. Low-C, I don't have that problem with. Um, Traxxas, I don't seem to have that problem with. Um, I know that the sledge, when it got dropped, it had a problem where O-rings weren't in the back and the axles were falling out. But it was a problem found right away. Um, and even the sledge, at the time that it dropped, it was a little pricey. Uh, you know, um, $100 less than this, but it was in the same line. And so I think by me producing the videos that I did and showing, you know, the front bearing falling apart, the motor mount screws falling out of this thing on my first run. In that video, I've gotten so many comments because this thing went on sale, $399. I think it's a good RC, and it definitely at $399, this is a steal, honestly. But I had said it in my videos before. We as the consumer can control market price. If everybody's running out, paying these extreme prices for an RC car, the price is going to keep going up. Um, and things are going to become unaffordable. If they're selling out every drop that they're doing, they're going to keep raising the price until that slows down and supply and demand can stay in the stores a little while. So, and I think we did it on the fire team. And that shout out to everybody out there that waited and got the RC for $3.99. And I want to... I, I, I want to feel like I was a big part of that, pointing out to these influencers that stop lying about this RC. The thing didn't jump well. You know, they're they're flying through the air in this thing. They've they've modified it, and uh, they're they're basically saying it's the best RC ever created. And I just don't believe that to be true. Arma's got some a good line of 6S products out there, um, and the fire team. Definitely a strong RC. The way they integrated the cage into the you know rear bumper and front bumper and even the side skirts really makes this thing really strong. But is it the best 6S out there on, on the market? No. I, I you know um, I think it's good. Um, I think it's a great RC, but it's not it's not that wow factor to where they did something different with this. Um, it's the standard 6S line through Arma. And the sledge, I think the sledge was kind of innovative, the way uh, Traxxas did the sledge. Um, the wings weren't busting off of the thing. Um, sledge seemed to be pretty bulletproof right out of the box without any changes to it. And the parts are cheap. Parts on repairing this thing is not cheap. I don't know if you guys looked at a body for this thing. They're 200 bucks just for a body. Um, and then, you know, front and rear bumpers and, you know, everything else on this thing is expensive. Center differentials are, are expensive. Of course, Arma sends you a bag of shims and tell you before you run this, take the diffs apart and shim it because most likely they're not shimmed right. So there's a, a lot of concerns I had when the fire team was dropped and... I've been getting a lot of messages lately because people are like, hey, I just got my fire team, $399, great deal. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a really good RC. 100%. Never said the RC was bad. What I said, quality control sucks. So definitely check your motor mount screws. Some have Loctite, some don't. Hopefully, you know, Arma has fixed the issue with quality control with that. The RC's been out for a little while. They didn't slam a bunch of them out to get them out the door to grab everybody's money. But uh, I'm going to get the wheels put on while I'm doing all this ranting and raving and talking. And the only reason I'm doing this video is because I had so many people, you know, pick up the RC, which 
I think it's a great deal for... You can't buy any 6S line for $3.99. Think about it. The Outcast 4S, which I think is a good RC, even the 4S Creighton, the new 4S Creighton, is a good RC. And they're more money than this, you know? So, no way am I saying that, you know, the fire team is a bad RC. It's, it's not. I was actually starting to enjoy it on the first run when I was bashing it until the wheel bearing fell apart. And I just picked it up to look at the chassis, and next thing I know, I've got one screw left in the motor mount, the thing's about to fall out, and then I catch the bearing on the front is blown out. And I'm like, man, I was just starting to like this RC. And these are issues I never had with my Mojave, uh, based off the same platform, yet by putting the crate and arms on this thing, whatever they did with those wheel bearings, um, made it weak. The, the, the bearing is so small that, uh, you know, it, it's one of those things that you'll probably have to, you know, find a bearing carrier or a hub carrier that is better. Now, since I've done that and I've been running, the, I ran this thing quite a bit to do my review on this RC and I like the RC. Um, you know, you can see by RC Guy Garage's video as well. It, you know, he's crashed the heck out of his trying to do those speed runs. And uh, it's a strong RC. Now, um, the body does have its weak points here in the back. You know, the pull, the screws pull through on crashes. The, the cage will start to crack. The guns will start to break off. You know, even you might even lose a, one of the guy's heads. Uh, during a crash and remember this is a $200 body so for Arma to to lower this thing to $399 you, you have to ask yourself they're still making money at $399 even the hobby stores are selling them at $399 why because they're paying less than $399 the markup on RC a hobby store has to make at least 30% off an RC to even sell it. They're not going to sell things at cost. So imagine at $399 or a cash price at $350. Imagine what the hobby store is paying for this RC. Like I said when this thing was dropped, this RC is not worth the $830 I would have had to pay for it. Um, or I did pay for it. Um, I didn't pay list price um, for this. Um, I buy so many RCs uh, from my hobby store, so many releases that I've worked out a pretty good deal with the hobby store um, to where I get, you know, a special price to do these reviews. Um, that's why I don't get a lot of, I don't get RCs for free. It's because I want to do an honest review for you guys, the consumer, so that you know, should you drop $800 on this thing? And I thought my video series on the fire team proved that. And, you know, shout out to everybody out there because nobody bought them. Nobody bought these fire teams. And I want to think that my video had some, had played a big part in that. Um, because I give honest reviews and, and I think I even labeled the video, you know, a true re review on one of these RCs. Because so many influencers they got at this $800 RC for free was ranting and raving on how great this thing was. It's not $800 great. It's just not. Um, it's a cool RC. I love the styling of the body. I don't really mind the guns that are in it. So some people, you know, don't like the guns, but they unbolt. It's no big deal. You just have some guys sitting in it. The whole military thing, um, when we're, you know... Ukraine and Russia are at war. I think the whole thing was bad timing on Arma's part. You know, I, I, I truly do. Um, everybody that, that got it for $3.99, and I think you can still get them. Some places are still offering it at $3.99. I feel this RC is probably going to get discontinued. For them to cut this thing in half and sell it to the public, they had an overwhelming stock of this RC. Every hobby store in the world for Christmas is going to have this for 399 
Now, what does that mean if Arma does discontinue this RC? Because it didn't sell well at that price point. It didn't even sell well for their 6S line. I would have bought one at $399 just to use it as spare parts because every one of your Armas, whether it's Creighton Arms or, you know, a Mojave chassis or, and I, and I showed that, that this chassis is based off the Mojave, but it's not a direct replacement. The Mojave motor is offset and the, the drive shafts are, are angled. The center drive shafts are angled. This one's straight down, I think, the center. So, um, shocks are worth it. Like, just buying this thing to part it out to keep your fleet going, um, I think is a good deal. I love the tires on this thing. I like this RC car. If you guys don't, I, I don't show it running much. I've, I've taken care of it. I really wanted the white body. And that's why I bought another one <clears throat> and shipped RC Guy Garage, the black body. And, uh, you know, so I purchased two of them. If I didn't like the thing, I would have never, you know, worked a deal with RC Guy Garage for him to buy it at a discounted rate um, and give him my, my black body with it. Um, if I didn't think it was a good RC, um, honestly, I, I think it's a great RC. So... Everybody messaging me saying, you know, I don't know what you're talking about. This thing's great. $399. Yes. I want to I want to thank you guys and me for giving you guys an honest review that this thing is not worth $800. It's just not. Hopefully the parts will be around for a little while so that we can keep this thing going. Um, if not, you know, buy an extra body now um, because... Anything, anything with the body and chassis, you know, pick up some spares now. I tend to keep my RCs a long time. I don't know how long I'll be able to keep this one. I'm not going to buy another body for this thing. Um, I think the body is what makes this RC. If uh, I destroy this body and have to put on a Proline body or something like that to modify it to get another body on it, it's not going to be as strong as the way this RC is now. Uh, because... Like I said, this roll case is integrated, locks into the front, locks into the rear, locks into the side, which really makes this a really strong basher. But before you run it, go through it, check all your fluids, check your diffs, make sure you lock tight stuff. And I think this is going to be around for, you know, it will run well for us as the consumer for a long time. We're going to get a lot of enjoyment out of it. And definitely at $3.99, worth buying. So I don't know why people thought, I thought this was a bad RC. I never thought it was a bad RC. I think it's a great RC. I love the Mojave. As you see, I bought another one because I had wrecked mine during a speed run, damaged the chassis, it was cheaper for me to just replace it at that point. And I did replace it. And I do plan on continuing with the speed runs. It's just a little wet, a little cold out here right now uh, to be doing off-road speed runs. Batteries don't like cold temperatures. They don't discharge very well. Um, plastics are brittle in the cold. And it's been raining out here in California. I've been doing a lot of XRT videos right now uh, because I'm trying to dial in that RC. I'm enjoying it, but I want to get this thing out. I think this is perfect for the colder weather. Um, the big tires, you know, bashing around in the cold. This might be the RC to, to run right now, especially around Christmas time. So I'm going to get some, you know, packs put in this. I'm going to get it out and uh, get it running again. Um, mine's very clean. It's like brand new, you know. Um, I've ran it. I did my review, and I'm sticking to what I said. This RC is not worth $800. And that's letting you know that Arma was price gouging in my opinion horizon hobby arma i don't know which one you want to blame it on but at 750 dollars plus tax that's price gouging when you can drop this thing to 399 and do a blowout sale that's letting you know what do they have into this 150 dollars into building this rc sell it to the hobby shops for 250 so they can sell it for 350 come on you know get real think about it Yes, we're getting a good deal now, but it's because you guys weighed it and because I did an honest review on this thing. So stop bashing all my old videos saying, 
I don't know what you're talking about. This is a great RC car. I love it. You were wrong. I wasn't wrong. The only thing I didn't like about this RC was the price point. Everything else, I love on this RC. There we go. Like, comment, subscribe. Christmas is coming awfully fast. I do plan on doing a year-end uh, review of some RCs I think were good for 2022. And uh, so stay tuned for that video. I'm working a lot right now, but I'll be off soon for the Christmas break. We're going to get out there, do some more running, have some fun. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you guys on my next video.